The definition of a commission, a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, as I understand it, Jerome, is that it's tasked with discovering and revealing past wrongdoings by a government in the hope of resolving conflict left over from the past. Why in Liberia has no action been taken on a report that you produced many months ago now? Well, Liberia presents a peculiar situation in that the conflict has just ended. The commission has just over 12 months produced its report. And what we find intriguingly interesting is the fact that most of those who are in authorities are those uh, who have been deemed to be responsible for the conflict in the mm. first place. And so there is, or there will seem to be lacking both moral and political authority and willpower to move forward on the TRC recommendations. We're talking a conflict uh, that, that, that um, closed out around 2003. It's an awful long time ago at this point. General Butt Naked's confession uh, will leave many asking whether crimes like those that he committed, that he talked about in the film that you've just seen, can ever be forgiven. It's a question he says he asks himself. Can or should he be forgiven? Well, forgiveness is an integral or perhaps spiritual part of the Liberian way of life. But uh, as a national institution or as a state, there is an obligation to ensure that issues of impunity are redressed given our experiences mm. of the conflict. And no matter how uh, vigorous we may pursue justice by persecution, it's going to be virtually impossible to prosecute all 100,000 ex-combatants who have so far mm. been identified by the conflict. And General Bodnicki is just one of 29 others who appeared before the commission and made a startling revelation as a way of uh, availing to mm. the Liberian process and people the truth of what transpired. But beyond them, there are another 7,000 others identified by the commission and have been recommended to participate in a national healing and reconciliation mm. process referred to as the Palava Hut. All right. Uh, so as let me ask you this. You, 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 we talked uh, uh, when we started about the fact that no action has been taken by the current government. If I, I, I'm right, uh, I think when I say that uh, indeed the president's name is, is, uh, is uh, as, uh, figures in this report um, and the report suggests that be, she be barred from office. When you take a case like this, you know, a report that took some time um, to produce after a period of what must have been agonizing times during this re truth and reconciliation and yet you get nothing out of it on balance is trc a good or bad thing honestly i don't think uh, the process has amounted to a failure or the results will come to naught. i believe that uh, the process of healing and reconciliation takes time and the commission itself was very very prospective in its calculation that uh, we have to protect posterity from what has happened. We have to ensure that we have um, better examples for future generations mm. to follow. So even if not much is done now, we have a blueprint, we have a roadmap, we have lessons that have been learned. The Liberian people have understood the nature of the conflict, those who were responsible, and some of the very difficult questions about why it happened have also been answered by the work of the commission. So in earnest, a lot is to Right, but Liberia's nightmare still continues. Yes, a lot stands to be gained from all of this. Um, but uh, there are things beyond prosecution and barring people from office that are in the TROC's recommendation that unfortunately, not much has been done about it. And I believe this is the case simply because most of those who are in th authority at the moment, who are now part of this transition, uh, bear a high level of responsibility mm -hmm. for what transpired in the past. So moving forward is going to be cha a challenge for them. And it's also for a challenge for the Liberian people too, to ensure that uh, these people do not continue to hold public office so that the country can move forward.